In 1955, the U.S. Navy issued preliminary requirements for an all-weather carrier-based attack aircraft. A request for proposals was released in February 1957. The request called for a close air support attack bomber capable of hitting the enemy at any time. The specification was shaped by the experiences from the Korean War, where air support often had been unavailable when weather conditions were bad. Eight different companies submitted design proposals. The U.S. Navy announced the selection of Grumman's proposal in January 1958. The proposal was by then designated as the A2F1 by Grumman. The design was modern for its time. The first prototype flew for the first time in April 1960, and the second in July the same year. Overall the results were positive, but there were some issues with the air brakes, which led to redesign of the third prototype. The problem was eventually solved. In February 1963 the intruder began its service in the U.S. Navy, designated the A-6. Soon it was clear that the A-6 had very high maintenance demands. The Navy initiated a program to improve the reliability and performance of the avionics, which led to downgraded avionics in the upcoming models. Several specialized versions of the A-6 were produced. For instance the A-6C interdictor, the KA-6D refueling tanker and the EA-6B prowler, which was the most complex version. The prowler was specialized in electronic warfare. The last produced version was the A-6E, which introduced extensive improvements in avionics, including the new APQ-148 radar. An A-6F version was planned, but was canceled. Instead existing A-6Es were upgraded with a new wing design, and avionics and armaments were upgraded as well. The intruder had a unique feature for its time, a cathode ray tube screen that displayed a synthetic representation of the world in front of the aircraft. The screen enabled navigation and attack at night and in all weather conditions. The design of the intruder's wing made the aircraft quite maneuverable, while carrying a sizable bomb load. The avionics were quite advanced, including automatic diagnostic systems that helped identify equipment malfunctions. The A-6 was used by both the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps. It saw a lot of action in the Vietnam War. Flying low to deliver its bombs, it was very vulnerable to anti-aircraft fire. A total of 84 A-6s were lost during the war. The intruder also saw action in Lebanon in 1983, as well as in the first Gulf War in 1991. It patrolled the no-fly zone in Iraq after the war, and provided air support for U.S. Marines in Somalia. Navy A-6s operated over Bosnia in 1994. The EA-6B Prowler served in Afghanistan, where it supposedly played a part in the raid of Osama bin Laden's compound. The Prowler was also used in missions against ISIS, over Iraq and Syria. The last intruders were retired in February 1997, but the EA-6B Prowler served on until 2019, when it was retired from U.S. Marine Corps service.